you have to feel good about it ending the break on, on a game like that where you withstood their run and you know get contributions from all over. Yeah, I thought it was a great team win. Um, you know, I got started off pretty well and we went back and forth. We, we created some separation there in the second half. Uh, great energy, you know, collectively we played together, played for each other. You know, anytime you can accumulate 26 assists, you know, you know could have had it, should have had more, you know, missed some open looks. Um, you know, turnovers were a bit high, but I think those were turnovers of aggression for the most part. Um, but everyone who, you know, who played contributed. You know, I, I give credit to TB, uh, how they, they got us going early. And because, you know, Danny, Rui, uh, Corey, you know, those guys played well late. They didn't go back. So, you know, I, I've got to give those guys a lot of credit because um, they stayed with it. I think that uh, helped us build a little momentum. Uh, we carried it and allowed us to carry it through. What do you think for Rui to have a game like this? Uh, I mean, season high, obviously, but just to uh, just be playing with a lot of support and confidence. Yeah, that's a good sign. Um, you, you've seen it in small spurts, but to see it for, you know, a good stretch is, is, is positive. Um, he's shooting the ball with confidence. He's playing with confidence. Um, guys trust him, so I think it's a, it's just another step for him um, as he really kind of gets going. We played 27 minutes, and actually he closed up final quarter. So what made you decide to let him play whole? Well, that group was great, and you know it's it, it's all about reading the flow. And uh, you know, that that group had, had a good stretch. They were they playing together, had good momentum. I'm just not gonna not gonna mess that up. Um, had to get Denny back, you know, of course you can't run uh, the full 12 minutes, but, uh, you know, I think it's a good sign for him that he can play that stretch and it's not a conditioning issue or to see him uh, accumulate more minutes is a good thing. Josh, you know, Josh. Ish, ish, I mean, just uh, come off the bench and he's such a positive spirit. Just yeah, energy for the locker room he's, good performance. he's very impactful. And, you know, that's part of the reason why I didn't go back with uh, Raul, but, you know, I thought it was, you know, both guys contributed, you know, uh, very well. Uh, Denny was great defensively, uh, got some stops, timely stops. Um, and then we make big, big plays down the stretch. So it was a great team win. I think we'll go to Zoom now, Josh. Thank you. Uh, Wes, your team has 24 games remaining. What could those 24 games do within the context of the careers of your younger players? Well, you know, I think we've seen it. You know, those guys have had to get on the job training, um, you know, for whatever reason, absences and injuries, COVID. Um, all those accumulated minutes are, they're valuable. There's no way to simulate any of that in practice to get the spirit of that, physicality of it, to, to be in this environment. Um, and especially when you win games, you know, so it's, it's kind of a, um, it's a good thing, number one, but it's also um, an opportunity for those guys to grow. And the, the more they can grow and mature now, I think it helps us later. So I don't look at it as, hey, we're just going to gear these 24 games to, to their development. They're going to be part of that winning as we go along. And when fans say, oh, the Wizards would be better off trying to improve their lottery odds, is that what you just described, is that the best counter argument aside from the ethics of the, of the entire thing? Honestly, that's not, that's not how we're wired. Um, I can't coach that way. Um, and obviously we're going to try and coach the group that we have, but we're trying to win. And, you know, they, they are a byproduct of that and they're part of it. So that's our approach. We want to win as many games as we can. Obviously, um, I mean, not without Brad and injuries and so forth. It is what it is. We're limited in some in some sense, but um, I think that's also a cultural piece. Get these guys accustomed to playing the right way, winning and competing at a high level. Thank you very much, Coach. Chase. Wes, uh, last night you guys allowed a season high amount of points in the paint. Tonight, only 28. What was the difference there? Um, well, I thought we did a better job on the ball. Um, there was a level of aggression, um, keeping guys in front. Uh, I thought we also were better in our coverage spots. You know, last night the, we got stretched a bit we were on the outside looking in, and that just opens up the floor. Um, you know, of course, it's a different group. Those, uh, those guys last night played downhill, but uh, still, I thought it was a better effort, um, better focus in that area.
And what can you say about uh, just Anthony Gill, the, the way he played tonight, especially down the stretch? Well, we've seen it a couple games, you know, the last probably week, week and a half or so. Um, uh, I've got to give him a lot of credit. He always stays ready. Um, he brings a positive, you know, uh, spirit and focus. He's always uplifting everyone else. And for him to get those moments um, to, com to compete in, in a meaningful game, a meaningful uh, stretch, I think is important. And a lot of times those minutes are at the end of a, a win or a loss. You know, it's still important, but he always keeps himself ready. The fact that he can help impact winning, um, you know, is a great sign for him, but it's also validation for what he does and what he brings every day. And Rui, you know, you talked about him having 20 points, but just the way he started the game, you know, not making a lot of shots and the way he finished uh, 13 points in the fourth quarter. Um, what, what does that kind of mean for his development, you think? Well, it's just, a, a, you know, a, an issue of confidence. You know, I think once you see that ball go in, um, you get more and more confident. I think if you're taking the right shots, make or miss, your teammates are going to trust you to do it. We as a staff trust you to do it. Um, and I want him to stay aggressive. You know, all of our guys to seek out opportunities within the confines of what we're doing. I think that's important. Neil. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, you guys had Brad on the bench with you guys back again. I'm curious just how involved is he in the game, you know, from the sidelines? Is he, you know, maybe giving you any input or – how, how do you appreciate him still being there? Well, as a presence alone is, is impactful. You know, the fact that, you know, he's injured, he's, you know, kind of out of the mix physically, but, you know, he's with us. You know, that's important. It's, it's great for me. It's great for the guys on the bench in the game. Uh, he's talking to guys on the floor. He's talking during timeouts. Uh, all that matters. His voice, you know, carries. So it's, I think it's important um, part of his leadership. Yeah, I'm like this, kind of going to the like this. I said, considering the past couple weeks is up and down, what's it like going to the break or win like this? Oh, uh, it's a, it's a big, it was a big win. You know, uh, we needed this one. Uh, last night we lost it, tough game, and we came back with a good energy, and uh, especially at their home, you know, it was a good win. They would answer their runs, the threes, and you hit a lot of the corner in the fourth and second half. Whenever they seem to push back, you always seem to have a run. Yeah, it's just the toughness that we have as a team. Um, guys who have been there before and know how to weather those storms are really good for us. So whenever they made a run, we punched right back. And, uh, you know, that's what kind of got us the win tonight. Rui, how does it feel to have a game like that, especially in the fourth quarter? Um, you hit threes, you had a bad jump at the end. What was it like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a it was good energy, you know. Um, team was everybody was sharing the ball, and you know, we had a good flow, and I was in a good rhythm too. So you know, everybody's just sharing the ball and they're just scoring, and then we are defending good too. So it was good. How much are you guys looking forward to the break, and what do you expect this last one for games? Um, first, we're gonna recharge, you know, uh, take care of our body, mind, everything, and come back. You know, um, we have, you said, 24 games, right? Yeah, so we, we still have a lot of chance to make the playoffs. So we just got to push, uh, you know, we got to push it. And then hopefully we can make a playoff. All right, yeah. we'll go over this. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, go I'm, ahead. Really, I'm really looking forward to the break. Um, you know, like Rui said, in char charging my, recharging my mind and uh, making a push in those last 24 games. All right, we'll go to Zoom for Josh. Just a question for both of you, please. Uh, you have 24 games remaining at the minimum. Uh, what do those 24 games mean for each of your development uh, in the context of your career? Well, for me, every game, no matter what point in the season, is valuable for my development. Um, I'm still learning new things. I'm still adjusting. and. Uh, things are getting easier, but uh, it doesn't mean I'm where I want to be yet. And then, you know, obviously learning how to win down the stretch of an NBA season is huge, uh, especially for a team like us who is uh, trying to make the playoffs. Uh, it's huge for us as a team. So these last 24 games are massive for me personally, but also for us as a group. Um, yeah, it's, every game is very important for us, you know, um, especially me. Uh, as a team, we have a new couple guys, couple guys and then you know we're still trying to figure out our chemistry so 
every game is going to be important, and then yeah, we're just going to play together and figure it out. Thank you, Chase. Rui, uh, you had 13 of your 20 points in the fourth quarter. Um, what allowed you to finish the game so strong? I was just trying to be aggressive, you know. Um, and like I said, you know, uh, everybody, everybody was sharing the ball and we had a good flow. So, you know, that was a you know, good momentum. And then, yeah, that's, uh, I was trying to be aggressive. And then, yeah, that's, the, that's why you're here. And uh, Corey, what was it like? Uh, yeah, what was it like seeing Anthony Gill play the way that he did tonight? Um, I know you've talked about how hard he worked behind the scenes. Yeah, um, really, really special. Um, it's not surprising, but it's special, right? Um, when anytime a guy steps up and um, has a big game like that, when we're shorthanded, is really, really great. And AG um, deserves it more than anybody else in the entire league. I think, in my point, in my point of view, so. I'm uh, really happy for him, but also not surprised with the way that he performed. What was it like just uh, being on the floor with you guys and you know, knowing the role? Yeah, um, it felt good. Um, I'm going to tell you one thing that I've learned as I've gotten older, that uh, the Lord has you here for a reason. Uh, you know, it, it, sometimes you go out there, when you're younger, you just go hoop. You just be like, man, you just go hoop. So you never take anything for granted. Uh, I'm excited to be back, um, you know, here in DC, be back with the guys. And uh, as we constantly grow and develop, um, get some wins and and uh, see what happens. You know, the goal is, is the playoffs. So, um, you know, that goal is in mind, but every day you got to put the work in and you got to get wins uh, like tonight. Uh, we got some ground to make up. Uh, but I'm truly, truly blessed. Like I said, I thank the Lord every day. I know he's using me as an example. And so I have to be that example and on and off the court. Um, and so just to be out there with the guys, it was fun. Getting the flow, figuring out how they like to play, where they want the ball at, and different things like that. It's, it's a constant growth and, and how coach wants to defend and run his offense. So. I've been on 45 different teams. I mean, <laughs> you learn how to, you learn how to work with different people. Uh, and that's, that's a tribute to my mom and my dad. Um, they, they put great character in me and my brothers and sisters. Um, and so uh, that's a nice thing for Tommy to say. Um, I think that's the greatest compliment. That's a greater compliment than somebody telling you, you know, you, you're good at basketball or you're good at something. Uh, Cause I think you can put the work in for that. Um, so uh, for me, just come in and be yourself. Get to know guys that you you haven't got a chance. Cools and I already know KCP and and uh, you know Corey and and some of the guys that I haven't got a chance to uh, play with. Isaiah, you know some of the guys that you know haven't been around. And I know I'm missing some guys, but I've been around a lot of the guys that that you know was here last year. So just getting to know them, get a vibe, get a feel. Um, you know, just team dinners and team different things like that that goes a long way with camaraderie and growth. Then we get out on the floor. Um, you guys can talk and communicate and, and check each other because you built that relationship off the court. All right, we'll go to the Zoom. Josh? Oh, I got to look this one. What do I look? Yeah, hey, Ish, uh, you, you've seen everything as you've just alluded to, uh, and you know what games can do to help de develop young players. For guys like Corey, uh, Denny, Rui, uh, even Gaff, uh, what could these final 24 games mean for them within the context of their careers to follow? Well, it's important. It's huge, Josh. You know that. I, we were in Orlando together. Um, and, you know, I had great vets. You know, when I was in Orlando, I had Jameer. Um, I had Q, um, Chris Duhon. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, Big Baby, Dwight was there. And those guys constantly talked to me and encouraged me. Um, you know, in practice, out of practice, we did a lot of team camaraderie things. And that stuff goes a long way. Um, and they constantly encouraged me. And so I hope and pray that I can do the same things 
uh, with the young guys, just constantly encouraging them, talking to them. You miss a couple of shots, keep your head up. Um, communicating on defense is the biggest thing. And, um, you know, I'm proud of, you know, Corey, he had, it's funny, because he had a tough shooting game. Um, I want to say in uh, Indiana, I want to say. Man, he bounced back like that game didn't even happen. And every shot he shot tonight, I thought was going in. And so you can already say, you can already see that he's way beyond his years as a rookie. He's mature. Uh, he's confident. He's tough. Um, and then he's growing in front of our eyes. I'm so happy to see Rui with a smile back out there on the floor, on his face. Um, you know, everybody, Gav, like all those guys just kind of growing and developing. I know I'm missing some guys, but just growing and developing before our eyes. And, and you know, you're going to take some lumps, you're going to take some bumps, but, you know, every night you got to grow and get better. Thanks, Hitch. Uh-huh. Chase. Ish, you guys allowed about 50 fewer paint points tonight than you did last night. Yeah. Uh, what made such a difference? Yeah, coach, you know, coach got on us. Uh, he got on us and talked to us about what we needed to do. Um, and I think we just bowed our ne neck, um, got tough, um, communicated well, and uh, locked in on, you know, the scouting report, who were the shooters, who was the hot guys, who was the drivers. That goes a long way, studying your opponents. And uh, last night, um, you know, they, they hit us, punched us in the mouth. And, and so uh, we responded well tonight. And uh, now the key for a team that's trying to continue to grow and get better is consistency. And so you have to do this every single night. You've played with Rui all three years of his career so far. Um, what does it say about his development to be making threes like he, he is right now and, and also to score 13 points in the fourth quarter like he did tonight? Uh, yeah, Rui, he's just got the joy back in, you know, everybody knows, you know, you know, it's no secret. Some of the things that he went through. Um, and so I just, for me, just want to see that joy back in his on and off the court, I see him smile and laugh and enjoying the game. And, uh, I can see, I can see that smile again. I can see that laugh. I can see that joy. Uh, Rui, Rui's a special player. He's been a special player the first two years I was here with him. And now you guys are seeing him just continue to grow and get better, continue to grow and get better and develop. And just, like I said, have that joy uh, of the game and be confident in everything he did and does. And, and so uh, you guys are just saying, you know, Rui, just be Rui. Last question, Anil. Hey, Ish, you, you talked about, you know, those team dinners that you guys get to have. Is that something that happened recently on the road or immediately when you guys got there, those first couple home games? I plead the fifth. Nah, I, I'm messing with you. Uh, we actually, we actually, uh, we, they, they did it before I even got here. Uh, and so um, I think, you know, AG does a great job of bringing us all together, bringing connectivity. And uh, we did it in Indiana. And I think it's something that, we have to consistently do, um, you know, everybody's going, you know, you know, we all come from different walks of lives and different things. And so just sitting around, chopping it up, eating goes a long way, um, knowing the next guy. And, uh, you know, this business is all about relationships. So uh, we build them, you know, during that time at the dinner table. So we did do it in Indiana. And I know the mid range has been, you know, part of your game for a long time. I'm just curious right now, it seems, you know, hitting it at a higher clip, anything about it that, you know, standing out to you? Uh, you know what, when I was in Charlotte, I have to give a lot of credit to uh, Norman Richardson, our uh, assistant coach when I was there. And I wasn't playing a lot. Um, you know, I was encouraging the guys and I was taking on the role as a vet. And I enjoyed that. I enjoyed those guys, that time there. Uh, I wouldn't trade back for anything or, um, but I did understand, you know, I needed to put the work in. And so we would, work out before the games on the court, and then go up to the practice gym workout. Then I will play with the young guys. And then after I play with the young guys, I'll work out after practice, work out before practice. I just kept working and working and working and grinding, uh, not knowing if I was going to get traded or not. But, um, you know, I, I, I attribute that to, to the work and it's something I got to keep going.